This has been a talker all day. A little known law is stirring up big debate here in Connecticut. Last night at 11 o'clock, we told you how simple license plate frames can actually get you ticketed by police. So far, more than a thousand of you have shared the story on Facebook, while more than 600 more have left questions and comments. A lot of people want to know more about this. So tonight, Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is getting you answers. He went to state police. He's live right now with the mobile newsroom, and he is in Hartford for us. Hi, Matthew. Yeah, Mark, you know, we're here in the weather tracker and I want to show you some of the roads here in Hartford. You know, this is really not something that you give any attention to until you're looking for it. And we are seeing a good amount of cars with frames. Now, many commenters on our Facebook page couldn't believe that this violation would warrant a traffic stop. And in the case of last night's story, the woman says she was also driving unregistered. But state police are telling us today that the simple act of having one of these frames partially blocking a plate can be enough for a trooper to get you. Scott Bruce is taking his license plate frame off after learning it could cost him $117. I've never heard that once, literally never heard that. This is statute 14-18 section C in black and white. Official number plates when displayed upon motor vehicles shall be entirely unobscured and the numerals and letters thereon shall be plainly legible at all times. State police tell us technically that means all plates can't have anything shielding them. I don't want to get a $117 ticket. We'll have to read up on it, but thank you for pointing it out to me. Last night, Eyewitness News shed light on it after a Broadbrook driver reached out, showing us she was ticketed for having this frame on her SUV. Everybody has these type of frames on their vehicles. She's right. Many cars come with them from the dealership. Obviously, advertising. Others like to support their teams or alma maters. And I like my Yukon frame. Many drivers have been riding ticket free for years, so this statute may not be widely enforced, but state police tell us they can stop someone if they're in violation. We also learned that certain bike racks could pose problems. It makes sense, right? The police really need to see your license plate if something goes wrong. Toll booths need to see your license plates to photograph it. With some racks going over the trunk, Cycling Concepts in Glastonbury wants to be proactive. They're trying to find solutions for customers. We will actually call uh, the car rack manufacturers, see what they recommend, and also the police, so we can inform ourselves as to where you can actually place that license plate. All right, so in the meantime, the best advice is to get that frame off, and police are telling us that this also includes that translucent, transparent plastic one that covers the entire plate. That's the latest live here in the Weather Tracker in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.